Hey guys, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where today we will be working on our steel supply. But first, it's time to go on a bit of a chainsaw rampage. Ah! All right, that's pretty tasty. Did a good job. I'm going to go turn all this into biofuel, and then we're going to come back. And we're going to start figuring out how to make steel. So I dropped off the wood and the leaves at home. The base is busy making a biofuel, the home base, of course. This could also be classified as a base. But I think we need to build something all the way out here. You remember this big rock here? We were talking about this big rock last time. Let's get out of here. I wonder whether we can actually clear it using the obstacle clearance. I, I kind of doubt it somehow, but I think it's worth a little bit of a test. I need to uh, grab some fuel from here. I can't grab half the fuel from that particular spot that's a little bit of a shame but I suppose I understand why they haven't done it now what I want to do no it doesn't look like it's actually gonna be a thing how about if I try it like this the leaves will disappear yeah and the boulder goes as well beautiful I knew that was a thing uh, well I didn't know it was a thing I kind of suspected so because somewhere around here was digging up a bunch of stuff. I got a load of limest limestone into my inventory. I, I didn't really ask for it, so it had to have come from somewhere. So now I'm coming on and I'm looking at this. I think I probably want to dig this side down as well, and we're going to put a bit of a ramp coming across this way. If we do those and then ramp downwards, this should work out for us, I hope. Yeah, little mile bit of uh, tree clearance. Now this is, this is for my entrance. This is for me to get in and out. What we're going to do over here here is set up a little entrance for the track. I say a little entrance. We're going to set up a truck station. We want to set up one here and of course we want to set up the other one at the coal depot. Right. I think that's that's probably good just like that. We need to go and set the other one up. In fact, let's steal some power. I'm surprised that I'm able to uh, run these under here in such the way that I have been able to. I'm out. I'm out of wire. Oh no, 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 no. Took a little longer than intended, but we are over by the Valley of Smog. I am going to throw down another truck station over here. I think it could definitely use it. That looks good. And then we need to figure out how to put the coal in there. So that's not going to be too much of a bother. I just want to bring some power over, put that there. Now, wow, what was... Did you see that shadow just like ripping across the scene there? I believe, yeah, it was the tether. Look at that. Nice, nice. I wonder how many like long-term... Wow, how long has that been there? Uh, I wonder how many long-term ecological effects having a, a shadow that passes across the uh, the land at a specific time every day would have. I don't know. I don't know. It'll be two times a day uh, in this place because we got two suns. All right, so you guys might remember this area over here. We came across and we exploited at least one of these mining nodes. Let's bounce our way over there. Okay, so we've got this one. You see this over here. Can I turn my torch on? We can turn my torch on. This one is my my power miner. It, it mines for power. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, now what we want to do is set up one over here. Let's get the production miner. I can't do miner mark two because we still do not have access to steel. It is exactly what I'm trying to sort out now. Uh, now what I want to do is kind of like put that down there. And I'm wondering if we can bring it up and over. But I've got a feeling the, the hitboxes, if you will, if I press zero... Uh, no, it's all just invalid aim location. I don't know. I'm not sure where it wants me to go. I'm going to try and push it up over there. I, I don't know whether that's going to be possible or not. Almost like, look at this. It's almost like this will work, but the belt will not. Let's put a four. Will it actually take it? No, it doesn't actually take it. That's unfortunate. All right, we're going to have to go around. That, that is a bigger unfortunate, but this is how it is in the world. Where's the truck stop? It's over that side, so let's go that way. I'm going to have to break this down and turn it around. Always some wildlife in my way. Really can't be doing with it. I'm just going to have to come around with my beautiful tools and do something about it. All right, I want to move some conveyor belt, and I want to move some conveyor belt. I kind of want to put it there, but I also feel like we're going to need a splitter to bring it into this one. So let's just put that in place before it becomes a problem. I do like that placing the splitters straight onto the belts. It's such a good one, such a good one. I will also take a bit of this. Thanks. All right, cool. It says no room. That's that's a bit of a bit of a lie, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go and figure out if we can get some 
power into the mining machine. That's uh, that's going to be a must. Don't run on the belt because the belt will not give you what you need. Now, I'm wondering, like, does this have... Yeah, this has some connections that I can take. Do I want to just take an extra pole or do we just... I'm just going to hook it up. That, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to hook it up. The reason being is I think we're pretty much done exploiting this area. Maybe, maybe at some point we'll come back with the higher level miner and belts and see if we can't get some sort of a further exploitation coming through. But right now, I think we're all right for this. Okay, I'm just wanting to watch this coal travel around. Oh, man, why do the players travel so much faster? Why? Okay, we've got the coal being split up and they're being entered into here. This should hopefully be making fuel beautiful and making a deposit. So I'm just going to sit here and watch this uh, fill up. When it's full, I'm going to get the, uh, the truck moving. Okay, so we're full on the fuel and we're getting to get a little bit of coal in the main thing now. I think it's time to do my first programming of a craft here. I'm not sure exactly whether this is going to be amazing or not. I wonder if we can take that away, let it use the fuel that it's got inside it to go and pick up the stuff from here. Uh, press C, enable autopilot, start recording. All right, let's see how it's going to go. I want to just kind of like go into here, right? We wait for the refuel. Uh, I mean, that that's pretty close. Did that count? I'm going to say that counted. Uh, and then we go over this way. And I'm going to drive back to the other area, which I have previously set up as an over unload station. Okay, heading towards the truck stop. And has anybody else noticed that this seems to be like quite a, a unique formation, this little stack of uh, sandstone pillars or something? I don't see any others around at any point. Okay, so we need to try and like ease our way in here. Bye-bye, berry bush. Sorry. Uh, and then we've got this unloading going on here. We'll wait for the unload to happen. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang around for a second or two just in case and then we're gonna roll again and try and go back to the the last spot the the refill that's what I'm trying to say the refill station and then we should just meet up with the back of this one right hit the stop um, X uh, finish recording uh, that should be it, right? Cancel, get off, let's let's watch it do its thing, yes, maybe? Uh, it's gonna do a thing, okay, this is cool. I'm gonna look here, we've got not many. Is this gonna now wait, or, oh, there we go, it's gonna do a thing. It's gonna pick up what little there is here. I wonder if there's a way of telling it to wait until full. Is it gonna wait until full? That would also be quite cool. Okay. All right. Oh, no, it's off. It's off. All right. I'm going to try and run ahead, though. I don't think I'm going to get there in time. Oh, no. He's so much faster than me. He's so much faster. Okay. Well, we'll go and get one of his other runs. But do you guys remember last time we, uh, we fell in a hole? We fell in a hole. It was a little bit awkward. And it was this hole over here. But do you see this thing? I just noticed this whilst running back and forth for the truck. It's a different type of ore. I am going to break this bad boy up. And we're going to see what we can do with it. I, I literally have no idea. Uh, I've seen some other players playing with it. Um, but I didn't, I didn't pay enough attention. Whenever they got to places that I've not done, I stopped watching. Because, you know... I want to learn it all, so that should be and that should be cool. Let's go and uh, see what we've got with this. I'm uh, running around the outside like this because uh, there are gassy boys there. You see another one up there. It's uh, it's quite a dangerous spot, so I need to watch out for myself. As you can see, he is out gassing. I did send the truck through there though because I thought the truck doesn't breathe, should be fine, right? Look, there's some coal just on the side of this rock. There's there's loads of resources here that I just don't realise are actually here. Uh, trundle, 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 here he comes. I wonder what happens if I get run over by... I don't think I want to know, honestly, but... Uh, oh, look at him go. Yay. <laughs> Tether shadow. Nice. Very nice. I would have thought with a sun so large, you wouldn't really get such a solid shadow, right? You know, like, there's a, there's a lot of light on this side, and there's a lot of light on this side, so why isn't that kind of, like, diffracting into the shadow? Bah, Physics. Aha! Aha! Look, he's offloaded a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Alright, I I know what's happened here. Let's get all this stuff back. 
All right, I've built myself a little um, little building corner in the corner over here. That was a great sentence. Building corner in the corner over here. Do you know what it's for? It's for building. Yes, indeed. One of the things that I've noticed is a little bit weird about this game is that you need to get a whole bunch of steel together before you can start making steel. Uh, I suppose that's kind of acceptable, but at the same time, like, isn't... Aren't we supposed to be trying to get away from this? In fact, to make my life a little bit easier, I'm just going to quickly pop up three of those. I think I want three of those. Though we're probably going to end up not making all three immediately uh let's start with some of these steel encased beams shall we they seem like a good place to start from steel beam that's not quite what actually encased industrial beam these are going to be steps on right what is this what is this steel beam that is actually what we want okay so we need four for every one which means we need 12 to get three okay it looks like we are literally only making the one okay that's 12 of those let's make three in case steel beams here beautiful running out of concrete hey mm, that's gonna be a little bit awkward when it comes to actually doing things and this steel pipe we need a lot of steel for this as well and we haven't got enough oh you know all right, that's getting a little tedious. Let's come on over here. I'm going to use this end one first. We're going to we're going to bring it up close to the coal. Uh, let's press Q. I want to build one of these foundries, and I want to build it over here. Yeah, in line with this would be beautiful. I do want a little bit of walking room though, so let's try and do that. Right. What's what's wrong here? Floor is too steep. Do do not try and play that one on me. I know we're fine. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So this is the foundry, the newest of new building machines we've got. Uh, I'm going to set it up for steel lingots. We need to input 45 per minute iron and 45 per minute coal. Now that does six, that does six, uh, 60, sorry. Uh, but the coal only does 60 on its own. So even at full tilt, we can only really provide for one of these until we start moving extra coal in, which I think sounds like we need a more coal trucks. Hmm, where can we find more coal? Let me do a ping and have a look. Okay, so that's the one that we've got over there. That's quite a lot of distance. 9,011, uh, sorry, 900 or 11. Maybe that 900 we're going to go have a look. I'm assuming it's over in those cliffs over there. But anyway, let's <clears throat> let's get a, get a start on and see what we can do about this. We need to pass the coal underneath. I think we're going to pass the coal underneath. It sounds like it might be the winner. Uh, it says floor to stick. Uh, are we going to do this? I think we might, actually. I think we might. If I kind of bring this over to about here, uh, how how bad is that? What what happens when this comes in and hits this? Let's have a look. It, it doesn't seem to care. Does not seem to care. I'm down with that. Okay, well, we also want to put one of these going over that way. We're going to want to split this off eventually. Oh, I, I need to try and think what we need to make a balanced 60s out of 360. Sorry, balanced 45s out of 360s. So somehow I need to do a 3 to 4, or we just say stuff it. We do need to do a 3 to 4 balancer. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. We will figure that out uh, at some point. I've got a feeling somewhere online someone would have worked this problem for us already. If I can do my own system, I do prefer to, but uh, right now I think we're doing okay. All right, we need to figure out where the power is coming from. That over there looks like a beautiful little power line. No, it already says four out of four. I suppose that makes sense. We can bring some more from you, though. Uh, put you there, and then we're going to have a machine in the middle here. So let's put a power line there, and also a power line over here. And then, ah, oh, I'm out of concrete. No! And then we can start building further things out. I know there's a concrete node over here, so I might just, using the power of these power lines, make a little concrete facility over here. Whilst I kind of hope not, I can see them making this an illegal move, and I would kind of be alright with that. Like I say, I hope not, but if that's what they decide, I, I would understand where they're coming from with that. I can't see my coal truck, but that's fine, everything should be fine blowing well okay so this is the limestone node that we've got i just want to kind of jump up here uh, break this little node off the top so that we can put down the miner this is taking a little bit longer than expected i'm not sure how much you actually get out of one of these limestone nodes uh, i may have also already been along to kind of chip away at this so we can get the concrete for the build that we're doing over here turns out there is a lot i'm not like concrete i'm not trying to chip away at the uh the actual node am i how about if we come up here this should be fine much much better much better okay so we need production minor mark one uh just <clears throat> turn that that way 
yeah, that looks good. Okay, so that's a minor mark one. The next thing we need is a constructor of some description. We're going to just put that here. Can we get the, yeah, the line up? Beautiful. Uh, and then right next to this, I'm going to go organization storage container. Uh, not that way around, but this way around. Connect them all up with conveyor belts. And then finally, of course, a little bit of power all around. All right, and that should be concrete just getting made. That That's brilliant. Never again shall we, like, want for the need of concrete. So despite the fact that we've got this rolling, there are a few things I want to show you. I was digging about on the internet, uh, trying to find a three to four balancer, as you can imagine. I kind of need one. And this dude, Al Firestone, was like, hey, here's the worst you've ever seen. And somewhere down in the uh, in the chat here, uh, Justin's Working gave us this picture. Uh, I don't know whether this is his work or whether he's passing on to someone else's, but there we go. That's all the credit I could possibly give here. And you can see, like, three in, four out. Perfect balanced. I'm gonna try and make this. I think that's a good idea. These would work as the three three mining rigs and then we just need to immediately split them out and kind of balance them down the middle here. Yeah, yeah, this will work so somehow. It's not the nicest thing I've ever made, but I think we finally got it. We've got the uh, the, the four 4-3 splitter, the 3-4 splitter, sorry. Uh, you can see, like, here's... Uh, let's bring that picture back up. Let's bring that picture back up. So if I can put this over here, you can see we've got, like, the first level splitters, second level splitters, and mergers. So we've got, like, first level splitters are these ones. That one and this one on the other side of this machine. Hang about, let me come around here. That one and that one are second level splitters, and then we've got a whole line of mergers down the end. So that should... Uh, think be enough to power all our different machines now we need to start figuring out coal properly in fact let's hook this back up so we can get our steel production going well crouching on another's clearance now i'm not i'm not happy with that actually if i'm to be honest with you how about if i do that and then bend background this way okay that's kind of cool a little bit awkward i've got a few of these going on around my base now and uh, i'm never i'm never overly pleased with them but the just does seem to do the job I need it to, so that will be fine. Conveyor of coal, conveyor of iron. We're making ourselves a whole bunch of steel. Okay, I know I said all factory all the time, and this technically is, but we need more coal. And we all know that I need more coal. There is no way that we're going to be able to keep this craft running, that keep this factory running with the amount of coal we've got. So we're going to go on a great big... I can't do it from here, can I? Uh, we're going to go on a great big adventure. We are going to find out where this, like kilometer and a half no it was like 900 meter um coal patch is at it's somewhere over here we should be able to just yeah that drive towards it it's, it's only a kilometer it shouldn't be far at all if it ends up being on the other side of those cliffs though we might might go somewhere else <laughs> oh gassy boys down there gotta watch out for that i think we might even be a little bit pinned in here i'm not sure if we can find another coal area nice and easily or not uh the easy bit is kind of important Okay, treacherous, but I think we'll be fine for the moment. I'm hoping it's up and over this way. Uh, that appears to be guarding something. I'm just going to kind of like breeze past them for now. Uh, let's continue up this way. Look at the look at the day in danger. Look at the deadly. Uh, I want to kind of stop here though. Are we under attack. We are not under. Ooh, frames. Why the frames? Uh, press the C. Go for the coal. What do we got? Oh, you're supposed to be close by. Uh, I saw something there. Where did you ping? 200 and... Mm, that's like up here, right? Oh, no. Oh, look, they're up there. Oh, no. Okay, we're going on a bit of a drive to see if we can get up there, but I've never run this guy over before. Oh, and he cripples. Oh, look at that. Uh, hopefully he doesn't think that's an aggressive act. Uh, yeah, I really need to get up there, don't I? Man, that's that's rubbish. That's rubbish, rubbish. So with the revelation of cliffs and slopes and all that sort of bad stuff, I was like, nah, you know what, I'm just going to come along with a power shard here, pop that in there, and pop it up to 150. That should put it up to 90. We can go all the way up to 120, but I don't have the power shards with me right now. They're back at home base. But I also want to show you something else. If I hit coal and just start running this direction for no apparent reason. So that was this one just triggering off. But look, that one right there. Do you see that? That is really close. Like, really, really, really close. So 
we're going to have to, uh, well, we're going to actually add that to the to-do list along with that one because uh, I want to get back now that we've pumped that up a little bit. Uh, with 90, we should be able to produce uh, two, two whole foundries worth of stuff. Man, even at the 120, it's only going to be two and a bit. It's not even three. Hmm. All right, as I left the truck over there, I had to come run up the slope anyway. And if I'm coming up the slope anyway, let's go and have a bit of a look and see what we can do. Uh, I uh, do not have any uh, ammunition on me. I'm going to make a... Is it a craft bench? Is this what I need? Uh, we'll rip it down almost immediately. But I just need to see if this is what's going to allow me... Uh, stop building, thanks. Uh, will allow me to make some ammo. Spiked rebound, 41. Beautiful. I wonder how come these guys are back. Like, these were, were legit the ones that I ran over and killed. Not not ran over, but like I ran them over to, to stop them doing stuff. And then maybe one ran off the cliff edge. That might have something to do with it. But I was fairly sure I killed most of them. But anyway, is this the coal here? This is the coal here. Look at him. I don't even know if... Oh, man, he started running before the, the bolt got to him. It must have been the noise. Must have... Hey, whoa, easy there, buddy. Now, if I remember correctly, this takes a lot to kill so oh man that's that's fine so i'll probably i'll probably see you when i'm done all right got him in the foot his weak spot it turns out all right let's get the not the leaves the alien organs thank you all right cool so there, there's definitely some coal here we could pump it over the side uh do we do we need to pump it how far away are we 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 could probably can we convey it? I don't, I don't know if we can actually convey it. I want to try that. Uh, just place that for now. Press a three. And how far can we put? Uh, conveyor is too low. I'm not worried about the price. It's just how how far we can actually go. Where does it stop complaining about the conveyor being too long? It doesn't. There is nowhere. All right, fair enough. It looks like we're going to have to ship this with another truck stop somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another truck stop somewhere is probably the way forwards. It feels a little bit a little bit wasteful to be doing so many different truck stops when I could possibly just have the one or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. We could probably pump. We, 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 we could... We could move stuff around with belts. I don't know. I don't know. I'm moving an R if you can't tell. Okay, I might actually have everything we need for this. That will be cool. So we're going to start with a miner, of course. Why would we not start with the miner? Beautiful one. Ah, I'm being attacked. Where did you come from? Oh, you probably actually made me jump. No, I'm not going to be able to hit you like that. Uh, what do we want to do? Climb stuff? Oh, there's more than... Oh, okay. I'm in actual trouble now. Let's go and find something to get up and be safer. Please be safer. Got to be safer uh, up here. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> All right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm probably safe up here. Whew. Can I uh, shoot you? Yeah, run away. Okay, I'm somewhat healthy now. Man, they totally caught me off guard now. I'm just shooting it into the actual machine. That's a bit of a shame. Good job that the machine doesn't take any damage, eh? Um, no, that didn't do him either. Yeah, let's have a little clap about it, lol. I don't know if I'm safe or not. All right, let's 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 jump down. The two of them ran away. I shot him in the face and they both ran away. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I don't want to shoot him in the face. He seems like a good, good sound man. Are you going to keep me safe? Look at your tiny little head up there. All right, well, after all that, let's get back on with what we we're doing. I'm going to pop a coal generator down. I want to put it in level... Oh, floor, floor too sleep. That's a shame. I want to put it level with this miner, if at all possible, like that, so that we can bring a splitter out almost immediately. Did you hear that? Oh, I'm jumpy and paranoid. So, yeah, my plan is to split this as quickly as possible. We bring this down to here, and this one goes round and in there. Okay, we then want to have ourselves a little trucky stop, because that's very important to our plans. Can we put this... I mean, it's all encroaching on distances and stuff. Maybe we can put that over there. Maybe we want to cover it all with foundations. Maybe. I'm not sure how many I actually brought with me now that I stop and think about that. Uh, but... Just covering this hole up should work fine for us, right? I hope so. I hope so. Man, you got to back off quite a way before it will allow you to play. So, oh, uh, there you are. I knew you were around somewhere. I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, clutch. Clutch. Why are the frames here, though? Oh, man, I don't like that at all. I really shouldn't. Okay, let's uh, let's think about this. Where are we going to put stuff? We need to get another splitter in around here somewhere. Let's just 
swivel that round like that. Throw a few more plates in, and then we got to figure. Ah, oh, ah, oh, am I really out of reinforced plates? All right, after a few rude interruptions, we have managed to put the conveyor belts in place, and we need to think about how we're going to power this. Now, obviously, we've got the coal generator, and that seems great. Let's get a power line out. I kind of feel like I only need a power pole there. Put one onto that, and this one over to there. So that should be fine. But as you see, oh, no, we're not working, because you need power to mine the coal, and you need the coal to get the power. It's this whole cyclical thing that we need to work on. But thankfully, we've got this whole biomass generator that we can just kind of you in here. Uh, I'm just going to throw uh, these leaves that I happen to have on me over there. And then because this is only a three point power line, we should be able to all encroach on the same line and do some wonderful business there. Uh, there goes the, the mining drill. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Another outpost has been achieved and I need to go find that truck. Oh no. All right, he's coming at me. Got him. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. You should uh, watch what you're doing, man, you know? It's a dangerous world out here now. Okay, the plan should be relatively simple. Let's stop this here, press C, enable the autopilot, start recording, all right? We're just going to hang around for a second because it would actually be a good idea to have a few little stops in the program so that this has time to fully load, but we should now be able to swing into position. At some point, I'll get that right and it will load up exactly where it's supposed to be instead of just jumping it on the floor and, uh, and everything just kind of teleports around. Not ideal but it's pretty good. All right, and then we need to just drive back to base. We're gonna have to be careful here. There is a uh, an opportunity for great conflict. You see this? Uh, so maybe if we go up and over this way and then we cut across here, and that way we shouldn't actually meet head on, hopefully, as long as everything works out all right. Uh, it's really about what I could do on that hill. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. And we'll bring this up in this direction. Maybe what we should do is build a nice little two-lane ro road where one, we're going one direction, we go on one side, and coming back the other way, we go the other. I mean, that's probably smart, right? Or perhaps make that a two-little direction thing. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how we need to deal with it, but deal with it we must because all these crossing over points are chance is where we can have some serious troubles. Okay, we're going to try and come in like this. Maybe this is just, you know, once we're just following the same path, we're just following the same path, right? Okay, and then we want to go back. Uh, I'm fine taking this route, and then because it's me, we then backtrack along this way. Okay, that, that should work out. I don't know... Uh, uh, over this way. I don't know whether the game will give us any any notification if we have a point where these two like head on each other or something I'm, I don't think they'll do themselves a damage I just think we're gonna end up with them like stopping looking at each other and not going anywhere you know uh, like this is really not where I should be alright truckaroo we got it all done let's put the finish recording Beautiful, beautiful. Pilot is active. I don't know whether he's going to do anything at any point if I'm in control. I think manual control overrides. Also, that sort of winch on the front, do we ever get to use it? Like, ever? Okay, let's watch the refill. <laughs> I, I've really got to figure out the parking on that better. Um, the fuel is just filling up nicely. This should also be filling up nicely. There's a little bit of power being used, but we should be like, well within constraints. Also, let's dig that up. Dig it up. Uh, break that up. Uh, and yeah, that, that, that's a little mining outpost. Nice. Oh, look, 120 per minute. Is this a pure node? It is a pure node. Beautiful. Oh, man, we cannot pump this up any higher than this because we won't be able to belt it away. Well, this is interesting. You can walk up, press E to edit this node. I don't know what it does. Delete node to edit the path of the vehicle. I don't want to delete it, but I didn't know you could do that. That is a crazy. But with that, I think I am going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to get on with the whole rest of this. Uh, I know that basically we were supposed to be doing this, but I needed to go and get some coal. We're now producing 210 coal per minute, which is like, you know, that's, that's pretty big. We got the 120 from the pure node we've just colonized and the 90 from the um, upgraded one we've got over there. Uh, we need to figure out where all the where all the coal goes, basically. And then what we're going to do with all of this still. But I will see you then when we're going to do that.
Bye!